Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to notify your team members when a new task is added in Trello. So imagine this, a new card called as uh, Python programming has been created in Trello. So you want to notify your team members on Slack. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you can copy all the details from Trello, compose a message and send this message on Slack to notify your team members. Or you can just bring in some automation. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Trello and Slack. So what Public Connect will do is, anytime a new card is added in Trello, it will automatically send a notification on Slack. Now this little integration can be done in very few steps. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here at the bottom, you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Trello to Slack, Trello to Slack, and then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. In the choose app, how about we make it as Trello? because we want to receive the data from Trello, that is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new card? So new card is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new card is made in Trello, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like new board, card move to a list, new label, and so on. However, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just I want to send the data when a new card is made in Trello. Okay, so just click on connect with Trello. In the new credentials, we have to fill in the username, API key as well as the token. So to get these details, just click on here. Okay, so this is your API key. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Now coming to the token as well as the username. So to get that, just click on generate a token. Okay, so this is your username. I'm just copying mine and just pasting it here. Okay, so the username has been entered. Now coming to the token. So to get the token, let us go back here. Just scroll down and just click on allow. Okay, so the token has been generated. Just copy this and paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the username, we have entered the API key as well as the token. So just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. So as you can see in the board, it is showing it as alpha board. And when we expand this, these are the boards I have. So the point is, uh, all the boards that is present here is being simply reflected here. I have Moonstar, gold, testing, and uh, these are the boards I have, Moonstar, yellow, testing, gold. So basically all the boards that is present here is being simply reflected here. This is because Public Connect is now integrated with Trello. Okay, so I'm going to select a particular particular board how about Moonstuck okay so I have selected a board called as Moonstuck now in the list there is a list called as creator and when we expand these these are the list I have so these are the list I have in Moonstuck so as you can see so these are the list creator Apollo equator South Pole North Pole Tropic of Cancer so yeah so these are the list so what if what if I create a new list so I'm going to click on add a new list so the name of the list is uh, Capricorn Okay, so this is the name of the list, add list. Okay, so a new list called as Capricorn has been created. So when I click on refresh, 
okay so when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created list in the drop down so i'm selecting this one okay so this is the webhook url now in the usual cases all you have to do is uh, copy this webhook url into the triggering software but in this case we don't have to because uh, we have already copy pasted the api key so we don't have to do anything so let me just uh, click on save and send test request to integrate public connect with this port and this specific list called as capricorn so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that public connect is integrated with this particular list so okay so public connect is integrated with this particular list so what i'm going to do here is when a board is uh, when a card is created in this particular list public connect has to capture the data so as to ensure that public connect captures this data let me just uh, click on this button capture webhook response click this okay so it is showing it is waiting for the data so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to trello Okay, so this is the list Capricorn. Let me just uh, add a new card. So I'm just going to click on add a card. So the name of uh, the card is uh, Elon Musk. Okay, so this is the card. Let me just click on add card. Okay, so the card has been added. Now since Public Connect is integrated with this particular list, let's check whether it has captured this data or not. Okay, so it is uh, waiting for the response. Yes, the data has arrived. So as you can see, this is the list name Capricorn and this, yes, we do have the card name that is Elon Musk. Okay, so what if uh, we want to uh, add some card details? So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to click here, click on the card and the description. He is uh, building a colony on Mars and he is going to drive a Tesla so let's buy his shares okay so this is the description he's building a colony on Mars and he's going to drive a Tesla on it on Mars <laughs> so let's buy his share so this is the description all I'm going to do here is uh, just click on save okay so now we want this description inside Papi Connect. Now to do that, all you have to do is uh, just click on this plus button. Okay, so an action window opens up. In the choose app, again, let's make it as Trello because we want to receive the data of the description. Okay, so in the action event, we want to get the card details. So let's make it as get card details. Okay, so just click on connect with Trello. Now again, we don't have to fill the username, API key and the token. I'm just going to the recent setting. So this is the recent setting. I'm selecting this one and just click on save. Now it is demanding the card ID. So your obvious question is, what is a card ID? So when this uh, data of the card was uh, received by Public Connect, it generated a card ID. So basically, we just have to map in the card ID. So this is your card ID. So basically, you have to input these uh, characters here. Now to input all these characters here, all you have to do is just click on this button. This button is called as the mapping button. So let me just uh, input the card ID. So this is the card ID. We have uh, mapped it. And let me just click on save and send test request to receive the description. Okay, so this is the API response and we have got the description. He's building a colony on Mars and he's also going to drive a Tesla on Mars. So let's buy his shares. Okay, so now basically we have got the card details as well as the description. Now we have to sync all this detail to Slack so that I can send a message to my teammates. So to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another action window opens up. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Slack? because we want to send messages via slack now in the action event how about we make it as send channel message without image so there are many more action events like send direct message without image invite user to channel create channel and so on all of them are bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you don't find the action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepapri.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send a channel message without image so just click on connect with slack in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Slack. <laughs> okay, so now Public Connect is uh, demanding access to this uh, Slack workspace. Now, before you press allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that premise, just click on allow. 
okay so it is showing the authorization is successful excellent just press okay so in the channel it is showing it as general and when we expand this these are the channels i have in my slack account so as you can see these are the channels airtable data big commerce general uh fresh sales lead instagram new customer and all those channels that is present here is just being reflected here okay so what if i create a new channel so i'm going to click on add channel create a new channel so the name of the channel is uh, uh, Trello board data Trello card data how about that Trello card data Trello card data okay so we have uh, created a new channel so let me just click on create and I'm going to input uh, I'm going to add three people into this uh, particular channel so let me just click on done so these are the three persons I have included these are the, my team members and uh, this is the channel Trello card data so when I go back to public connect and when I refresh this I can expect to find this uh, newly created channel in the drop down so let's explore okay yes we do have the newly created channel in the drop down so let's select this so the idea is that anytime a new Trello card detail is entered it will be uh, sent as a message in this particular channel okay so in the message type let's keep it as plain text and in the message let's type something like uh, um, new card detail okay so let's map uh, Elon Musk so this was the card name Elon Musk and let's map the description so the description was so let me just uh, scroll down or I just entered the description right here okay so this is the description okay so new card detail Elon Musk and this is a description excellent now I am my name is uh, Michael so I prefer to keep the bot name as Michael now in the bot icon we don't have to do anything okay just uh, ignore that so let me just click on save and send us request to send our first message in this newly created channel okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let's have a look in slack okay so this is the message uh, new card details elon musk he's building a colony on mars he's going to drive a tesla so let's buy a share okay so this is the message new card detail elon musk description etc okay so my name is michael and uh, so i'm specifying the bot name as michael in the bot icon we don't have to add anything so let me just click on save and send us request to send our first message in this newly created channel so let me just do that okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let's have a look okay so new card detail elon musk he's building a colony on mars and he's going to drive a tesla on mars so let's buy his share excellent so what if what if we create uh, one more card so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to create one more card okay so there is something uh, we are missing so to explain you that let me add just uh, one more card so okay so jeff pesos okay so this is a newly created card we have added the card and we are going to add a description so the name of the description is uh, something like this the amazon is uh, overvalued okay so the shares has to be shorted and uh, other reason is the Amazon taxi program is not working something random okay program okay Amazon taxi initiative the reason I'm taking time to add this is because I have to explain you something so let me just uh, add a description so let me just click on save okay so a card as well as the description has been added so let's have a look in slack what's the message we have got okay so as you can see we have uh, two information here okay one is uh, new card detail Jeff Bezos and the second information is new card detail Jeff Bezos Amazon is overvalued so the shares has to be shorted shorted and the reason is Amazon tax initiative is not working so my point is why do we have uh, two uh, messages okay the first one message is of about the card and the second message is about the description as well as the card name so we only want one message so this is actually kind of wrong so the problem is uh, actually uh, we actually are sending the data two times 
the first time when the card is created and the second time when the description is created so basically we want to send the card name as well as the description at the same time now to do that we have to bring in the delay module now to bring in the delay module let me just go back to public connect okay let me just uh, scroll up okay and what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on this plus button okay so now in the action event how about we make it as delay okay so we are going to delay this data for one minute so delay four minutes in the delay value how about we make it as one minute and let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been delayed for one minute so let me just uh, refresh all of them okay so it has been refreshed and let me refresh this one also okay so after refreshing my window so i'm going to add one more card so the card name is uh, bill gates okay so we have added the card and then i'm going to enter the description so once again there will be one minor error i will show you okay so the description is um, windows 20 windows 10 is boring uh, please bring windows 20 okay so let me just click on save so the description and has been added so let's have a look in slack okay so as you can see we still have uh, two messages okay but this time we have uh, both uh, the description as well as the card name but again we have uh, both messages uh, the message is being repeated twice so again this is uh, something is going wrong so let me just uh, take you back to public connect and let me take you to history okay so let me just uh, show you what's happening here so let me just uh, scroll down and as you can see in the action time it is uh, showing it as update card so not only it is uh, just creating a card it's also updating a card so that is why we have two messages one for creation the creating the card another for updating the card so basically we have to apply a filter so that it will only pass uh, only that data which is related to creating a card so once again i'm going back to the dashboard going to the workflow okay so here i'm going to establish a filter so the filter will be something like this only when a card is created then only the data should flow so this is the filter okay so basically filter is a if statement it uh, sends a question it asks a question so if a card is created okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to scroll down okay so here you will find in the api response the action type as create card i'm just uh, copying this okay and simply pasting it here okay so the action type is if card is created create card is equal to create card then only the data should flow so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the condition is true okay so let's uh, again uh, refresh all these windows okay okay so i have refreshed the window uh, so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going back to trello and add one more card so the card this time is uh, carlos slim okay so he's another billionaire from mexico so i'm just going to click on add card so the description is uh, when is uh, carlos slim planning 5g okay so let me just click on save okay so this is the description when is carlos slim planning 5g so let me just go to slack and let me just refresh this so this time it will only send the data related to the card creation so that means only one message will arrive so let us wait for one minute okay so as you can see there is only one message this time new card detail carlos slim when is carlos slim planning 5g excellent so how about uh, one more time we enter uh, one more card just to double check it okay so this time the billionaire is uh, okay donald trump donald trump at cart what happened to trump tower okay so this is a question in the description okay so the card as well as its description has been added so let's have a look in slack okay so the data will arrive after one minute okay so let's wait okay so the data has arrived new card detail donald trump what happened to trump tower excellent so the presence of uh, this message shows that our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new card is added in trello it will be reflected as a message in slack 
Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.